Hello, I'm John Russell, Director of Engineering Production here at Team Vodafone, and welcome to the Norton 360 Engineering for Speed section. So, we're going to talk about cooling. Cooling on the race car is important because we need to reject the heat generated from the engine and the components on the car, brakes, transmission, and ensure that it all runs at operating temperature. If the oil or water becomes over hot, you either lose friction, lose performance, um, or cause some destructive uh, problems within the car. The main layout is quite similar to a road car in the front with a large water cooler, which is fed from underneath the front of the bumper, as you can see here through this air duct. This air duct in fact splits to allow air to be taken for the engine from this vent here and also during, during different climatic conditions, i.e. a cold day, we can reduce the uh, amount of cooling we need for the car by putting blanking panels in here which helps the performance of the car and generally gives increased front downforce. There's a balance to be struck in the races for this because um, the engine doesn't like to run over 90 degrees, um, we lose performance and much above that we start to do some damage to the engine so we have to plan in a race of what happens when you're close up behind a car and close up behind a car in a safety car situation. The temperatures there vary quite a lot so you can gain up to 20 degrees from when you're running on your own in free stream air to being close up behind a car at a slow speed circuit. Uh, the water core um, is a standard sort of size for us, um, it's pretty s much similar through the category, the one we use is manufactured by PWR. The engine also requires oil cooling, now the oil is cooled by two different means depending whose car and team you use. We use an air cooler which you can see behind the water cooler here. Um, some teams still use what's called an oil water heat exchanger which is where the water from the engine um, passes close to a uh, through a membrane where the oil is contained and exchanges the heat between the two, the oil being the hotter. And so essentially the oil from the engine heats the water which use, uses more area of the uh, capacity of the uh, water cooler at the front here. Brake cooling is achieved through these uh, ducts here which are a specified size for the championship. Um, the brakes run very hot and very hard on these cars, up to 900 degrees or even 1000 degrees at very high braking circuits. Um, and managing the brakes and the brake temperature is very critical. In fact, uh, that's one of the areas where, um, particularly in long races, somewhere like Clips or wherever, um, where you're carrying a lot of fuel for a lot of time, managing the brakes can have a really quite a large impact on the performance of your car towards the end of a stint. Other areas on the car that need cooling, are at the back here where we have the gearbox under the middle of the car and then the differential. The differential is a pair of gears uh, which work very hard and it's essential to keep the oil in that gear mesh to a limited temperature below 150 degrees once the friction capacity of the oil breaks down and then the gears start to wear or even lead to a failure. For that we use small coolers similar to the ones we use on the water cooling of the engine. So they vary in sizes from something like that which is a little matrix oil is pumped from the differential through this cooler it'll probably lose 15 degrees of temperature through that cooler and then back through the pressure pump um, into the differential area again power steering works very hard on these cars too uh, unlike a road car the, you're constantly turning or constantly braking and using the steering um, in terms of its duty cycle much more than you would on the road so it's important to cool the fluid which is working very hard through a high pressure pump what we do for that is use this tiddly little cooler here which uh, just keeps the oil temperature generally below 100 degrees as I said the gearbox before straight cut gears in the gearbox but it transmits um, the power of these engines which is around 630 horsepower um, and uh, on a racing car you're either 100% on the throttle or off it on the brakes so the gearbox is working very hard all the time and again for lubrication and efficiency it's essential we cool that oil that's done through a cooler probably something of this size where we reject 10 or 15 kilowatts of heat and it's pumped electrically from the gearbox through the cooler and back into the gearbox lubrication circuit